Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to register wizard in the action menu. And in case you missed previous discussion about introduction about the Odoo and uh, different job positions in the Odoo, please check. Link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the playlist, you can see different types of playlist available for the Odoo with the different topic wise with the real task cases. And this is the main playlist of the Odoo development. So let's back to our main topic. So here, so let me go to here and uh, what is the action meaning, right? So how you can add wizard into the action, right? But the first thing is you have to understand is what is action, right? So each model having a action menu in the view. So let's say if I will select this record, right? You can see here the action is visible. You can see here export delete and this is our custom action we already created using the wizard set default school so here if i will set right so let me close first this one and you can see the right now the school is a b v right and i want to set as x y z i will update so it will automatically update the x y z so this action menu how you can add also different windows or the server actions here right in the specific model so you can see this wb.student model we added this one right but let's say if i'm going to the school profile and i will select the abv as a school you cannot see here that specific action so how you can do this one right to mass edit or let's say you can perform also many things not only the update one but the update one i'm just giving you the simple demo so how you can do right so this is the topic you can understand how to register wizard into the specific models action let's do it so let's go to here let me open the student profile right this is the module and here i'm trying to create a new more folder which is the wizard and i'm trying to create here one more python file set school wiz.py and same like by uh, xml file also i will, I will create dot xml so this file i will register in the init file and same main init file i will also register this wizard right now uh, let me also add the this xml file here wizard set school wiz dot xml right now the first thing is i will try to import like models and fields class set default school v's models transient model right and i will set as a default model name school dot v's Set default school using wizard. So here I will try to add one more field is fields dot many to one, which is the wb dot school right string school, and here let's say the student IDs one sorry not many to many wb dot student string students right and i will also add default method set default school pass simple and that's it and let me go to here and before that let me open this view let me copy close paste let me 
remove all unwanted code let me copy this model name fast 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 set default score right this is our visa action name let me add here field dot student ids so let me verify this one right and now our visa the form and the action is also registered plus one more thing is we have to also register in this this new model into this security csv file right so for that let me copy so here let's say we created this form view the wizard action right and we have to do one more thing is like once we click to that action so it will automatically open in the new screen so for that we have to also set the target new and another thing is once i choose any specific records so it would be also available here that action right so for that we have to do one thing so in this existing action the windows action right we have to add like let's say name uh, we have to bind this action to the school model so for that we have to register two more entries right so let's say the binding model id so or let's say like this and ref would be the model underscore wb dot student and another thing is binding view types here we have to provide view names in which view you have to visible right so i want to visible for the list as well as the form view if you only use the list right so only this action would be visible in the list view only so for that to you you want to use for the list and form you can just register it like this all right so now i'm going to upgrade this module so i'm using here the pycharm terminal student right you can see the model name and if you don't know guys how to configure odoo in pycharm please check a detail level playlist i already explained let me minimize and let me refresh the screen now let's say if i will select this record still you can see there is a some issue so due to that it's not visible here right this action so here due to this security access like we didn't I completely forgot the register here alright and now I'm trying to upgrade this module let me close this file and refresh the screen okay so so you can see here all right so let me copy this name and i will you can see the name i added misspelled module name right due to that it's not upgrading this module and now you can see in the terminal it's working fine now refresh the screen and now you can see right you can see here the list view is display right why because you can see right now i forgot to remove this tree view and here i have to add the form view 
let me upgrade one more time let me refresh the screen and now you can see that we have to choose here the specific school and here it would be automatically update the selected records right so for that we have to extend also default get method default get and here i'm also using api.models and i'm also using here the api right and here let me minimize this one rdn super i will call default.get method and field list return rdn and simple i will add here student list equal to self dot dot context dot get active underscore ids so here this active whatsoever we select in the list view or in the form view right so it will get active underscore ids in the context so let me copy this one and paste here now you can see there is a one more error will generate if we are just trying to use here this directly this name right uh, sorry so there is a one mistake is here sorry the model it's my mistake now let me close all the logs and now you can see you will face one issue with this one so whenever you see type error integer object is not sub subscriptable right so here that means you have to pass here the object not the id and if you scroll up you can see you will get list of id which we selected right so for that you can just use self dot env dot browse and this the model name would be wb dot sorry student that's it and let me remove this upgrade and simple i will try to re restart the service no need to upgrade the module and refresh one more time and i will select let's say you can see here the school is not set default right plus another thing is once i will click to here you can see by default this three students by default selected so here the user have to do is select the specific abc right and then after they have to also click to the save button but here we don't need to use this default save and discard button right we have to add here our own buttons in the form view add those buttons so let me minimize this one and here i will try to add footer sorry footer button name equal to type equal to object string let's say update and same for this so for the first button we have to register this method and second would be the cancel button right so for the cancel like we have to use the cancel we don't need to use this type because we have to use the special cancel button and this name also not necessary here so i will use here btn second that's it and let me upgrade this module let me refresh the screen right now you can see the cancel and update button both are available all right so this one is having a some issue this is the issue two times 
I have added now another thing is once I click to this button so all these three students automatically update the school profile as the selected school right so for that we have to add here let's say self dot student ids dot write school underscore id self dot name dot id right so let's double confirm school id right you can see here so whatsoever school id is, is here we have to just update the whatsoever we selected here right and that's it let me upgrade one more time because here you can see the special equal to cancel we have to use but here i added special dash cancel so due to that you can see this button is also not working properly so let me refresh the screen let me add only this four button now you can see the cancel is working fine so let me add three default school as a abv update and now you can see abv let's say the this two schools i will use xyz you can see the xyz right and here another thing is if you are using like this right so you don't need to visible this option here the student the selected option so for that either you can just remove this one from the form you or just comment this part now let's refresh the screen let me also override the school profile with the selected one let's say xyz now you can see xyz is available right and if you noticed here it's look like a simple wizard right so like this way you can just bind this wizard into this action and another thing is we also use here in the form you right so you can see also here instead of this xyz i want to add mbv you can do like this right so like this way you can bind plus another thing is if you don't want to use in the form view right you can just remove here in the view type so in the form view you can see here this action right next time it won't be available but in the list view you can see this action i mean this visa now you can understood right how to register any specific windows action under the action for the specific model now our next session would be how you can also add a new button in the list view without customizing the js code right so if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session